Hey guys, how's it going? Master of Lore back at it again, and today we're not talking about Middle Earth for once, we're actually talking about Game of Thrones, or to some, A Song of Ice and Fire. So we're doing a small character study in a very short video on a character who caught my eye in A Game of Thrones, which is, of course is the first book in A Song of Ice and Fire, and the character that we're actually talking about today is Koholo. Now if you don't know who Koholo is, Koholo is the oldest of the Blood Riders for Khal Drogo. Uh, he's described as being a squat, bald man with a crooked nose and a mouth full of broken teeth. Essentially, uh, his back story is very, very short. We don't really see this character too much, but the reason why he caught my attention is because he is the oldest of the Blood Riders. So he's obviously a very skilled warrior, and we know this because we hear of a very short story that Koholo actually saved Drogo from cell swords when Drogo was still a very young, uh, young adolescent. The only time we really see him is in a Game of Thrones, of course, because uh, spoilers, he does die. <laughs> Uh, rather urgently in the story so we don't really get that much time with him but in the time that we do get with Koholo uh, he actually gifted Daenerys Targaryen an Arrak which is the common sword used by the Khals or the Blood Riders or any of the um, Dothraki to be honest it's like their main sword it looks very similar to a scimitar um, and the really cool thing about the Arrak that he gives to Daenerys is the fact that it's actually covered in gold so it's a gold covered Arrak uh, which is really cool it's a gold covered sword I mean whenever you see something like that uh, in fantasy it's something that's very uh, prominent and important uh, but it's kind of cool because a super flashy sword that he gives to her um, and you have to expect that it's very expensive which means that Koholo is probably a rich man um, especially because he's an old blood rider for Cal Drogo and we know that Cal Drogo never lost so he must have claimed lots of treasure in his time um, also when Viserys Targaryen bears his steel during the feast in Vase Dothrak and threatens Daenerys, Drogo orders his blood riders to seize him, and the first one to grab him is actually Koholo. Kotho is the one who pins down Viserys, and then uh, Kotholo is actually the one who disarms him. Now the thing about Koholo that I really liked is the fact that he treats Danny with lots of respect until she attempts to heal Drogo, of course, after he had his nipple cut off. When Danny tries to get the help of Miri Mazdur, fearing the dark magic that he knows that she's going to use on him, Koholo and the other uh, blood riders attempt to stop her, and he actually basically almost cuts Daenerys' throat open uh, during the attempt to stop her, uh, which is when he's killed by Ago. Uh, Ago is someone who is sworn to, of course, the Khaleesi, or Daenerys Targaryen, and that is the end of his character. So, as you see, his character is very short-lived, but also very interesting, and I thought I'd entitle you to a nice little video explaining his very short backstory and his character. Because um, it's kind of cool, you know, there, there's a very large variety of characters that we get to see who are very short-lived, and I like to talk to people about them because they're super random and super cool. And if you like this video, slap a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below who your favorite Blood Rather or Dothraki character is in the story of A Song of Ice and Fire. Thank you, and you guys have a great day.